Hello guys, Imperius is back here with another map making tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make multiple versions of Invisible Ground. This means there are multiple out there which we can use right now. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make uh, uh, the, the first Invisible Ground which most people use and most people know. Um, this can basically be done with a rectangle and with a circle. So we're going to use the rectangle first. So we want to make this into an invisible ground. What we do is we copy this map. We copy this map code. Open in the document. There's still a map code here. We can remove that. Now we will look for the one with the color code. Here you see that the OT. And you can also uh, find it easier if you, for example, give this color code 666, like I always use. So let's do that, and you will see if I replace this, that will be 666. Now what you do is you remove this in the code. You just remove that. Now it's not there anymore, and the ground is already invisible if you load it now. So if we load it now, it shows us black, but it doesn't mean it is black. And you will see now the map loaded. You don't see it, but I can jump against it, and I'm standing. Oh wait, damn, damn projection! I'm standing on the air now. Okay, so that's the first one. The thing with this ground is, if we make this dynamic, and we will try to add a box or something to it, that won't work. Now, there is also another version, so we can just use this one again. And what we do is we go back to the one with the color code. So um, that was this one, this bit in the text. You can remember that because there were only one and two. You can also see that because this is zero and this is one. That means this one has to be because this one is zero and this one is one. Then you look at the T value. Here's the T value and you change that into 14. If we now load the map again and we load it here, you will see it appears as a wood ground but it says error. Now you can add anchors to these ones. So if you want to make mechanism with invisible objects, but you want them to be anchored, you can use this one. But if you want to have invisible dynamic objects and you don't want them to be anchored, you can use the other one. Now let's go to the last version of the, the invisible grounds, which is invisible water, which is rather easy. So you copy the, uh, the map code, you make, replace the water, and you uh, place it here. Now you look for this in the code. Wherever you find this, that means it's water. Now after this, after this um, little thingy, whatever, or you can put it in front of the P, you put like the, um, the despawn value again, so V equals and then dot. Just like in the tutorial of despawning grounds, and you put like a really, really short time here. I put 0001. I think you can also just fill in one, but I like to be fancy and all that. So now I load this. Now what will happen is this ground gets despawned within uh, uh, one millisecond and it is invisible, but yet it still has an effect. So this way you have invisible water. So those three are the three types of invisible grounds you can get. If you want the grounds to have a higher friction, you can just select them and just increase the friction just like if you select here if you want to restitution and if you want to change the collision with what objects you can also change that okay i think i explained everything if you're still in trouble with it you can let me know on my forum thread or you can ask me in game or leave a comment probably a comment is the smartest because then my viewers can help you out if i am not paying attention thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day